right, hello everybody, and welcome to this exciting episode of Bob the Sign Man. Um, today, I'm going to show you a little problem that arrived for us about a year ago, and uh, it kind of threw a big wrench into our scheme. We used to use the Gerber. Um, I have both of the, them open right now. This is the Gerber. We were using the uh, Omega 5.0, and now we're using the Flexi, the Print and Cut Authorized 3M Traffic Edition. I think it's like Flexi 12 or something it's called. Anyway, so I have them both opened up on my screen. And what had happened, we started using Gerber. It was fine. Then it came out with the update 6.50. So we, we did the update. And then at the same time, IT did an update. We went from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So anybody who's using Windows 7, using Gerber, and has a GraphTech plotter, you'll be in trouble when they upgrade to Windows 10. If they do the enterprise version, you can probably get by with the home version or the pro if your IT apartment, IT department allows it, but ours does not. So what had happened is we had all those files saved under Gerber and they don't open up in Omega very well. They do, but they don't. And I'll show you what I'm t talking about here. So uh, let me see if I can grab one of these. So here is my... Okay, I found a file here. Here is my litter um, signs that we make. And I'll hit those, color them up a little bit. So this is what they look like. Uh, if we have a road available for adoption, we have an adopter road here and it's got our phone number you can call. And then uh, it's a plate that I take off and then we can put uh, the sponsor plate right in this area. So these are took quite some time to lay out. And when we started using Flexi, you can um, I'll show you what happens. Like if you just want to copy, okay, and then we're going to paste it over into Flexi. Okay, let me expand this out a little bit, shrink it down a little bit. So here's our um, litter sign. Let me open up my... So we're going to take this and we're going to go to a solid fill and we're going to do the wireframe on it. Oops, let me select this and we'll go wireframe. So now everything's all the same color. So, and you think, well, great. But I noticed when I, the very first time I printed this out, here's what happened. So let's, let's expand this out a little bit. So Flexi doesn't recognize the font in here. It just recognizes the, as lines, like a line art or whatever. So as the image gets bigger, so you can see how it cuts out some of the letters. Look at the P in Napa. The C is not very well. The O, look at all those jagged edges. So it's it's not picking those up. You could probably go in and, and fix all those. Um, it, it's very time consuming to do that. So you can see some of my grapes, they're not rounded. They're kind of squishy. Um, same thing with some of my other um, fonts in here you can see. So what I found out to do is I saved everything as a PLT. So now what I have to do is I'm going to um, close out this Flexi. I'll make it smaller again. So what I have to do is since these are saved in a PLT format, I want to convert them over into an EPS. So let's just go ahead and copy this whole thing. We'll come back in our Gerber, a new file here, and we're going to paste it here. Okay, and then I'm going to save it. I'm going to go to my file and I'm going to save it as, and I already have one on my desktop um, saved. So let's go to my desktop. Um, well, let's just save it a new one anyways. Let's just call this my L-I-T-T -T, litter test sign, P-L-T. Okay, litter test sign PLT. And I'm going to save this as an EPS. You have, when you come in here to save it as save as the type file, you've got dozens to choose from here. So let's come up here and let's save it as an EPS. Okay, now let's just save that on the to the desktop. Okay, and here it is right here. So you can open it up or I'm just going to drag okay, it Okay, so I'm just going to drag it over. And it, when it drags it over, it turns it into this magenta thing. So we can take care of that really easy. We're just going to um, select everything there. And we're going to come into 
traffic black and we're going to go wireframe. Okay. So now everything is back to where it should be. Now I'll, I'll, let's zoom in on the, the county part where the O is, and we'll show you how much cleaner that is. You can see the grapes, they're, they're round again. And the county is much more smooth now. You can see that smooth. Um, the P in Napa is smooth again, but you see how much better that is there compared to... All right, there's a comparison to when we imported it just as the PLT from uh, Gerber. And see how jagged that is. That's not going to look very attractive when it's cut. And then here was the um, imported when we saved it as an EPS. See how much better that is? A lot better. So there's a little tip on how to do that. And I had dozens and dozens of, of signs that were already saved as um, the, the uh, PT, PTL files. And I wish I would have known and I could have saved them as EPS. That would have saved me a lot of hassle. But it's not really a hassle. Like I said, all you have to do is, is drag it open, open it up in your Gerber, resave it as a um, EPS, and it'll open back up in here again. The only thing that it won't do is when you come back to your text, it's see the text tool is not going to recognize your um, font as a as font. It's only going to recognize it as straight line art. So you won't be able to bring your text over with you, but all your images and stuff you will be able to and then you can just come into your image here we're going to um, ungroup everything and then like this used to be green so i can you know fill it in with the green like we used to and cut it out so um there's a little tip on that and it's really important to um you know don't don't give up on the things there's always some type of workaround so like i said if you're using gerber and you're going to upgrade to Windows 10, especially if your county or city or local government uses Enterprise 10, which Enterprise 10 system is for big entities like governments and big businesses. They, they all have one that's that the IT department can really lock down on. And that's what, what doesn't do very well with the Gerber sending it off to your plotter is that there's too many restrictions on it and it does not work. And don't, our IT department, our IT department went round and round saying, oh, we can make it work. So finally they gave up and they says, hey, we can't make it work after we had already been on the phone with Gerber and our supplier who sent us the software and that we, they kept telling them my IT department's not gonna work. So that's how we switched over to Flexi. So like I said, whenever you're in a jam, just turn to the sign man. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>